Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to be answering question number 15, part 2, from the GCE A level paper from the UK. This is 9MA001. This is the GCE A level paper, not the IAL A level paper from October 2021. All right, this is a question which is about proofs. This is proof by contradiction, which is part of P4, and that's why I'm answering this question. I'm answering it for the, the students that I teach who are taking P4, all right? Part one of the question is about proof by exhaustion, which is part of P2, so if I answer that question, I'll put that under my P2 material. So this is going to be answered separately under P4, the P4 proofs um, playlist, and I don't normally take questions from these other papers because we have plenty of them in the international A-level syllabus, okay, except this particular question is about proofs. And proofs is something new to the syllabus, something that wasn't there previous to the 2017 changes that were made. So you won't find these type of questions in the old international A-level papers like C34 or C4, and that's the reason why I'm taking some from this old syllabus. Uh, sorry, this, this UK syllabus, all right, because um, just to have more exposure to these type of questions because it's something new and a lot of students are kind of intimidated by such questions because they're not really what they're used to answering. But um, they're pretty simple really. Um, so let's start off with this question. It's given that m cubed plus five is odd, use proof by contradiction to show using algebra that m is even. Okay, so when we prove by contradiction, it's not like we say, like we would do, say, in P2, you would say, prove that if m cubed is odd, then m is even. That's a different question. There you would say you would take a number um, and you would put it in a form in which it's even and you would substitute that into here and show that the answer comes out as odd. Okay, that's how you would deal with it if it was P2 and it didn't say proof by contradiction. It just says proof. Um, and that would be by deduction, basically. But now, what we're going to do is by contradiction, which is different. Proof by contradiction means, first of all, you assume the opposite kind of, the, what contradicts the statement. So we can say, assume that if m cubed plus 5 is odd, then m is odd. It's like contradicting this. Okay, that's what we're going to assume. Now, we have to show now that this statement leads to a contradiction. It leads to something that contradicts this statement, which means m must be even then. Right? So it's like proving by contradiction. So we can say if m is odd, if m, let me write properly, if it is that m is odd, then we can say that m can be expressed as 2 times an integer plus 1. So I must state now that k is an element of the integers, either in um, symbols, or you can say k is an integer. It's fine if you do it in words or using this symbol. Now, remember, the symbol z means an integer. Okay, so k is an integer, or k is an integer. You can write it in symbols or words, but you must state that k is an integer. Otherwise, this, is what, this won't be true, that m is odd. When m is equal to, or expressed as, 2 times an integer plus 1, it's going to be odd, because the multiples of 2 are even, 1 more than the multiples of 2 are odd. So that represents odd numbers. Okay, so therefore we can say m cubed plus 5 will therefore be equal to 2k plus 1 cubed plus 5. Now, expanding this, we could expand this in different ways. We could um, think about binomial expansion, all right, which for this is very simple. Or we could write 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 squared, all right. Um, let's, let's do it by binomial expansion. We know we've got 1, 3, 3, 1, if you remember Pascal's triangle. So you have 1 times this thing to the power of 3, which is 2k cubed, plus this thing to the power of 0, which is going to be just... 1, so that's fine. Then you have 3 times this thing to the power of 2, so it's 2k all squared, times this thing to the power of 1, which is going to be 1, so we don't have to worry about that. Then you have 3 times 2k to the power of 1, which is just 3 times 2k, again times 1, which doesn't matter, and plus this is uh, 1 times 2k to the power of 0, which gives you 1, 
So you end up with this. So this is a nice, easy way, if you remember, from P2 binomial expansion. For something simple like this is easy. Don't forget the plus 5 at the end. Okay. Or we could have written it out as 2k plus 1 times 4k squared plus 4k plus 1, where we expand one of the brackets, like you know 2k plus 1 squared. And then you, when you expand this, you're going to get 8k cubed, which is going to be what we get here, which is 8k cubed. And this will be 3 times... 4k squared, which is 12k squared, and this is going to be 6k, and this is going to be plus 1, plus 5, which is plus 6 in the end. That would give us the same thing. You get 8k cubed, plus 8k squared, plus f, plus 2k, plus 4k squared, that's 12k squared, plus 4k, plus the other 2k we had is plus 6k, and plus 1, and then plus this 5 will give you the same thing. So you can do this if you want, or you can use this binomial expansion that we should remember in a simple thing like this makes life a bit easier, I think, but no problem. Either way is fine. So now we have the expansion of this, and we can see that this has a common factor in each of these terms of 2. Okay, Even if you had a higher common factor, like, for example, if 4 went into them or 6 went into them, just take out the 2, because that's what we're concerned with in proving whether something's odd or even. We're proving whether it's multiples of 2 or not, so it's best to just take the 2 out. All right, so you've got here 4k cubed plus 6k squared plus uh, 3k plus 3. Okay, that is now a number which we know for sure is even because this is 2 multiplied by all of this together is of course going to be an integer. 2 times an integer. Okay, so this is of the form 2 times n. Okay, so this is, okay, it's of the form, so we can say m cubed plus 5 is in the form, in the form 2 times n. Let me just write that a bit neatly. Is in the form of 2 times n, okay, which is, that means it must be even, okay, which is a contradiction. It's a contradiction because we stated that if m is odd, then m cubed plus 5 would also be odd. But when m was odd, m cubed plus 5 is even, okay, contradiction. Therefore, if m is even, then m cubed plus 5 is odd, okay? That's the proof, okay? If m is even, then m cubed plus 5 is odd. That's what we have just proof, okay? So there we have the answer to this question. So you assume the opposite, you show how it leads to a contradiction, and then you state the original statement is true, okay? So there's the answer to question number 15, part two from this paper other questions from this paper if i get to answer them will be in the playlist that appears over here other questions from um, p4 proofs will be found in this playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon